When I was 12 or 13, I was legally blind without my glasses. About that age is when I decided that I should have been born blind. I often went without my glasses. I felt that I was more comfortable. It got to the point to where I felt that I shouldn't be seeing at all. My mother told me that staring at the sun would make me blind. So I would lay on the grass and stare at the sun for hours. She lied to me. It didn't work. I wasn't really happy except when my eyes were closed or it was dark. I felt imprisoned by my sight. I would turn off the lights and sit in my room in the dark. I never did like seeing my reflection. I felt very lonely because I was the only one I knew who felt like this. I really felt the need to be blind. People depend way too much on their eyesight. People believe that blindness is a disability. I think of being empowered and being free when I think of being blind. Now, before Jewel made her life-altering decision, she says she spent countless hours and days pretending to be blind. Level eight, heading level three. I found this online group. I loved being part of a group that understood what I was going through. We would share experiences and tips about how to blind sim, which is pretending to be blind. Blind simming gave me a lot of experience with the white cane. At first, I bumped into a lot of things, but I quickly learned how to get around. I had a sleep shade that I would wear over my eyes and then wear sunglasses that I had sprayed with model paint. And this is what it looked like when my sleep mask was fully adjusted under my sunglasses. The sleep shade would keep my eyes closed and the sunglasses would keep people from seeing that I was blind simming. It was very freeing to go out in public and be treated as a blind person. I started traveling longer distances to go blind simming. One time I drove to Washington, D.C. I got on the metro and went downtown to the mall. I was able to get all over D.C. on my own. I can really live the life I wanted to live when I was in different places. The longest time that I blind simmed was two weeks. I was literally in the dark, totally blind. Hi, Jewel, it's good to meet you. Nice to finally meet you. I have a lot of questions, as you can well imagine. What was your experience? What made you believe you wanted to be blind? I simply felt there was a need of <clears throat> my body image, the image of who I was just didn't match who I was in reality. Okay, and you said this became very strong for you at about 12 or 13? That's correct. Okay, so when you were four, five, or six, you were looking around and playing like every other child. I was. But was there something when you were 12 or 13 that began to trigger this for you? I don't think there was anything that specifically triggered it. I think at that point it just started building up. Did you want to be different? In a way, yes. I wanted to be different. You started kind of researching to see if there were others that felt this way, right? Yes. I read an article about a man who put his legs on dry ice. And in the article, it talked about body integrity identity disorder. And at that point, I realized that I wasn't alone. You were blind simming or artificially obstructing your view, but your goal was you wanted to get this done for real. You wanted to ultimately have your eyesight removed completely. That's right. 